And this is a special day. This is March 19th. And uh, 17 years ago, my first grandchild was born, Ike. And uh, it took me a day or so to get in touch with my dad. And I finally got him and said, hey, I just wanted to tell you that you're a great granddad. He goes, outstanding. What day was it? And I said, March 19th. And he goes, well, he got quiet. And said, I won't have any trouble remembering that day. And I was, really, why? What's up? And he goes, well, that was the day I had my near-fatal car accident where he almost didn't graduate from flight training and almost missed his wedding, for that matter. And uh, he said he was deployed at one point, got his orders on March 19th. He said, just be amazed at how often March 19th has shown up in my life. And he goes, and of course, you know, it's the day your mother died. And I'd never known that day. And so thinking about my mother today, I'm thinking about my grandson and my mother. It's a special day. It's like having something delightful make up for all these sad memories of the past. And, and uh, so I thought that I would sing a song by my mother's favorite artist. My grandma always told me that my mother's favorite artist was Nat King Cole. And I associate the Christmas song with him. Maybe Ramblin' Rose might be more associated, but I think of the Christmas song when I think of Nat King Cole. And even though we're a little out of season, in these perilous times, I thought I might sing a song about happier times. So I'm going to make an attempt at the Christmas song. I wrote this quick chart. I'm not even sure it's Nat's chords, but I just followed the melody I hear of it in my head and thought that I would take my little strap here and plug into my little, this is my Danacaster, and plug into my little 69 Princeton and make some music. How about that? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Everybody knows a turkey. Thank you. 